Hey, what's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. Welcome to Sit Down. Molly Bernard is here with us. Younger, streaming now on Paramount+. Plus. Nice to meet you, Molly. How are you? Lovely to meet you. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So Younger has been an awesome experience for you, but I want to wind it back. Let's talk about where you were at in your career when you first got the part of Lauren and how has this whole thing changed your life? Oh, wow. I mean, I had just graduated from the Yale School of Drama. Um, I was basically still a student. You know, when I booked Younger, I was such a crazy hard worker, um, so much so that a few of my castmates were like, chill, work a little less hard. You're, you're, <laughs> you're doing fine. Um, and, you know, I, I auditioned for a six line guest star in the pilot, and then it became a seven year family. It's, it's, it's honestly, if I think, if I go back, if I take your challenge and go back that far and actually think about it, it's like, whoa, that's kind of like an actor's dream. And so I feel like I'm just coming out of it because, you know, we, we recently wrapped and I'm so excited for the finale and for fans to take it all in. I mean, even the fact that, you know, it was on TV and then it's on Paramount Plus, right? Like that's all happened in a seven year yeah. window. So what's it just been like to be on that journey with the show in all these different forms here? I, you know, it was, it's my favorite part about this journey and that the, the many forms that it's taken is I've got to say is that it, I think our show was like a sleeper hit and because we were on TV land and people were like, oh, isn't that where like reruns of like, I love Lucy happen and we were this new content. And so people were kind of slow to catch on and we've just ga gathered this base of people who are like diehards and love it. And now that it's on Paramount Plus, we're we're so excited because it's such a big, actually, streaming platform. The content that they have is vast. Um, so I, I'm just ex I'm excited also because in some ways Paramount, Paramount Plus will be a little more accessible to like the streaming generation and the generation that had that watched us on like the the demographic rather that watched us on TV Land. We're now like available to both, which I think is really exciting. Yeah, who were the folks that were coming up to you on the street when it was just TV land? Like, what did those people look like? Dude, I have to tell you the craziest story of my life, I think, is, well, it's crazy for a number of reasons. I have to tell you the story. I was going to um, Marina Abramovich's 70th birthday party, as one does. It was at the, <laughs> which is usually where you throw your 70th birthday party. The invitation said to my friends and my enemies. Hmm. Um, Just putting it all out there like that's that. Right, that's right. I was somebody's uh, plus one, and it was an amazing night. But on my way there, I was running from the subway. I think this was in between season one and two of Younger, because I still had really long hair. And I was running from from the, the subway to the Guggenheim down, like, whatever, 86th Street or something. And this doorman, like, maybe in his 40s, thick, 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 like, New Jersey, Long Island accent. I don't know. He goes, oh, my God, is that Molly Bernard? And I'm like, this has got to be a joke. Like, is this a friend of my grandfather's? Like, what's going on? And he goes, from younger, I, my wife and I love you. We love you. And I was, I like stopped, you know, my little shoes stopped. And I was like, wait, what? You know, you watch that you watch younger? And he was like, oh, we love it. I like, have a good night. And I was like, oh, my God, OK, you too. Bye bye. It's always the surprise for me are like the men who started watching it with their wives who get hooked and then it becomes like their show. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Yeah, because yeah. they have it on their own now. They don't need their wife anymore. They're just totally in. I know. That's really awesome. That's a great story. And now, like you said, with Paramount Plus, it's, it's hitting people right in their 20s and their 30s. And then you can hit that older generation as well. And also you can just stream the whole show, too, which is something you previously couldn't do in the same way. And that helps to bring more people in. Right. It's I, I like that it will be a a catching type of show. Like right now, uh, I'm watching The Americans for the first time, and I never watched it when it was on TV. And my partner and I just did that with Game of Thrones too. Yeah. I lo I love that you can find these these great shows in the canon of of American and international television. Like right whenever you're ready for it. That's the beauty of the streaming world we're in, right? And especially all the competition in the streaming world. So th this show certainly falls into that. And it's a great show. And, you know, people obviously know your work. They know Hilary Duff. They know the whole crew. For you specifically, Hillary with, with, with Hilary, have you know, <laughs> Hilary who? Yeah, what, what's her name? What's her deal? I mean, you've spent a ton of time with her. What's it been like getting to know her and, and work with her? It's been amazing. I think we, we have become each other's best friend in, in, in a lot of ways. Like I, I officiated her wedding. I'm her daughter's godmother. 
Um, I was there for her other daughter's birth. I'm just like, she, I, I feel like I'm her student. I'm her parent in training. And also, you know, she's, she's really my best friend in that she picks up on weird stuff that's going on with me before I do. Mm. And she'll be like, so, uh, what's going on with your mood today? <laughs> I'm like, what mood? And she's like, yeah, that one. How are we doing over there? <laughs> okay. Okay. Sit me down. Keep me real. How long did that take to develop? I would say it happened in season two. We started to have lunch together every day, maybe season one. I don't know. We just be, we like friend fell in love. And at this point, no, it did happen in season one. Yeah. It's, it's almost impossible to tell the, the difference of, you know, time and seasons. We've been on the show for so long. Also, I was 25 when I started younger and I'm not that young anymore. <laughs> you mentioned before Yale School of Drama, there've been a couple different people I've talked to that have gone right from Yale and, and done things. What is the best part of that program and how does it set you up for everything in this industry? That's a great question. Um, I mean, first of all, I'm really, I'm insanely proud of my degree. Um, it's such a comprehensive training. It's such a difficult training. I think my favorite part about that program is, and really what I feel set me up for success, are it's, it's twofold. It's the like deep Shakespeare training and the classical training, which thank goodness I have those skills. I think it's why I'm able to do like Darren Star, right? There it's, a structure is a structure and form is a form and like you learn form at Yale. The other thing you learn at Yale that I think is different than a lot of other MFA programs is the sole focus is on collaboration. So I learned how to be a graceful, fun collaborator. It took me a minute because that's a hard thing to teach mm -hmm. a student because they want to like shine and be their best self. But um, it taught me how to be so the program celebrates generosity of spirit and of creation and collaboration. So that was my favorite bit. So you've collaborated, but with Milkwater, you get to shine, you get to star in a movie and that's a really cool deal. And, and from what I've read and what I've seen, it sounds like a really fascinating uh, film just in terms of somebody trying to find themselves and just the opportunity to have a kid and how that impacts somebody. So what was most interesting about this piece for you? I think kind of the highlight of Milkwater for me was that it was an impossible project and that's why I was drawn to it. It's, it was, it's a long movie. Uh, the script was long, but it moves really fast. So the challenge was playing someone who has a lot to say very fast and who is pretty lost. Like she's a millennial who's flailing hands down and that she volunteers to be a surrogate for a man she just met it is a wild thing. And I related to the fact that she was struggling in her late twenties. I was there. I remember it well. Um, I wish I could forget. And I was like, you know what? Let yes, let me tell that story because I lived that hellstrom. And let me like, let me tell that story in a way that that I think will resonate with with my generation. Everyone knows a Milo. If you're not a Milo, you have a friend who is. So what's the thing that you really wanted to hit? Because you mentioned that you lived it and everybody knows Amila. What What's the defining feature of that time? Deeply in crisis mm -hmm. and like reaching out to everything that's outside of you in an effort to avoid really being real with yourself. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good way to put it. I think everybody kind of hits that at some point in their life. That's for sure. I hope so. I mean, I'm glad I was miserable when I was going through it, but I'm glad that I did. I think mm -hmm. it prepared me for the rest of my life, hopefully. Yeah. Listen, okay. sometimes you have to go through some hard things to, to get to a brighter day, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that would be a really awesome movie to watch. You've also done some other big movies. You've done Sully. You've done The Intern. I mean, talking to Tom Hanks, De Niro. Do, do you have any fun stories from, from those days? I remember being so nervous to work with Robert De Niro that when I met him, I was like, yes, hello, Mr. De Niro. And he was like, no, Bob, <laughs> I'm Bob. And I was like, okay, Bob. Yeah. Hey, Bob. And I like, couldn't quite handle saying Bob because I was like, I don't, I know who Robert De Niro is, but I don't, I don't exactly know who Bob is. Um, and then when I worked with Clint Eastwood directed me in my scene, with Bob Hanks, and I was like, this is crazy. Uh, how do I actually do this? Um, 
And I, rem I don't remember anything from that day other than being so, 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 so nervous. And then when I finally saw the, the film on the night of the premiere, I was shocked that I actually sounded like a human being. <laughs> I was shocked. And I was shocked that they kept the scene. Mm. I was shocked about all of it. I was like, head to toe, this makes no sense to me. Well, doesn't Clint Eastwood move really quickly from scenes, right? Don't he, you only get like one or two shots? Kind of. He shoots really beautifully. He was a really, he's a very quiet director. Um, he shoots the rehearsals. So we rehearsed twice, both were shot. And then, yeah, we shot twice. So I don't know actually what ended up. I'm sure it was a mix of rehearsal and, and like the two times that we went through it that amounted to the like little two scenes that I was in. Just another great experience for you. So you got the show, you got this movie. What are some other things you'd like to do as you move forward here? Oh man, I, I really hope, you know, Younger has been so amazing getting to play an over the top woman who unconditionally loves herself and is kind of sometimes a cartoon character. Like it, that, that taking up that size and that scope has been amazing. I really hope that my next few projects are require me to take up size and scope, but in an entirely different direction. I really want to do something gritty, something I can sink my teeth into in a way that, you know, maybe frightens me. That's a, that's so different than Lauren because I'm, I've, I've loved playing her, but I'm ready for a totally different vibe. Yeah. You clearly have that range also, and you definitely chomp it at the bit to tap into it. So yeah. I can just sense that here. And I just um, also wrapped a movie uh, that I made um, with Amazon Studios and I co-star with Regina Hall in. Mm -hmm. And um, it is, it's, it's, a, it's a spooky vibe. So that'll, that, that'll, that was also fun to enter kind of a darker world. I like it. Looking forward to it all. Molly, really nice to meet you. Congrats on all the success and we'll talk to you down the road, all right? Likewise, thank you so much.